aan de regering Seligati onder leiding van zijn excellentie, de heer Desiree Delano Boutersen en de prime minister van Barbados, Mia Motley, hebben op vrijdag 16 november enkele veldbezoeken gebracht. Ze zijn onder andere geweest naar Brokopondo Centrum, Plantage Vedra, de Brokopondo Krachtcentrale en het geheel werd afgesloten te Bergendaal, waar een ondertekening van samenwerking is gedaan. Het Nationaal Informatie Instituut was voor u op pad en brengt u het volgende verslag. Kiss my beauty, sings Mama Sranang. Dance with my spirit of love. Dance with my spirit, the spirit of my people. Dance with my freedom. Dance with my liberation. Dance with my soul. Touch my soul on this soil, my dear. Welcome. Kiss my beauty as you are, as yourself. Gengeling, gengeling. Konde wayo, konde waye, konde wayo, che che.
verbanden krijgen we leven, hebben wij verbanden met veel landen waarin we barbeden. Niks komt voor zijn tijd, zegt men. En op een bepaald moment hebben deze twee landen in ontwikkeling. Hebben het goed gevonden om een goed voorbeeld te zetten voor wat ooit de founding fathers van CARICOM wilden betekenen. We hebben reeds lang een commissie bestaan uit Surinamers en technische mensen uit Barbados. En het was goed om nieuw leven in te blazen. Waardoor we technisch, economisch, cultureel niveau uh, concreet inhoud konden geven aan zaken waarop we gesproken zijn en uitgewerkt zijn door onze technische mensen in de afgelopen dagen. Ik wil namens de Surinaamse regering, namens het Surinaams volk, ook namens mijn vrouw de First Lady, die is twee technische teams, bedanken voor de serieusheid waarmee zij waar, waar aan ze gewerkt hebben. Wanneer ik zeg dat dit een bijzonder moment, een historisch moment is, zeg ik dat omdat ik in de, omdat ik in de overtuiging leef dat wat wij nu op papier gezet hebben, gezien de serieusheid waarmee zaken zijn aangehaald, Barbados heeft een team op de werkvloer gestuurd hier, dus uh, enkele maanden geleden. En ze hebben heel serieus het veld afgezocht. Samen met onze Surinamse broeders en zusters hebben zij gekeken naar de mogelijkheden waardoor wij, wanneer wij een samenwerkingsverband aangaan, niet zouden zweven. Deze twee landen in ontwikkeling hebben elkaar nodig. Ik denk in het Caribisch gebied hebben we elkaar nodig. We weten dat er vele pogingen zijn gedaan. En ik wil hierbij zeker Guyana meenemen. Guyana heeft heel wat pogingen ondernomen in het verleden om daadwerkelijk over te gaan tot het tot stand brengen wat wij zo graag willen, de CSME. En helaas, maar wij zijn ervan overtuigd dat met deze voorbereiding en met deze aanpak, en we zijn nogmaals zeer vereerd dat de prime minister van Barbados persoonlijk gekomen is met een superstaf om hier aan inhoud te geven. Dat wij de projecten, welke niet alleen maar zijn aangehaald, maar de projecten welke ook gaan uitgooien in een programma, dat wij daar daadwerkelijk inhoud aan geven. Today is a special day for us because I believe that we have, through the signature on these, this agreement, signaled a definitive intention to be able to make a success of habit and habit our success. We have chosen to identify some very special areas that reflect around the needs of our citizens, our people in very tangible ways. From the time that we landed on Wednesday morning and we entered our bilateral meetings, it became clear to us the seriousness with which your government, Mr. President, has taken this exercise. You're absolutely correct that on the 1st and 2nd of August, a technical team came to Suriname. And perhaps the 1st of August being the first day of that technical team speaks to the spirit of emancipation and to the spirit that we want to envelop our relations. That was symbolic for me. On Wednesday morning, from the Ministry of Agriculture to the Ministry of Trade and Tourism to the Ministry of Finance to the Ministry of Education and Culture to the Ministry of Youth and Sports to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. You brought all of your ministers there 
to engage with us one by one by one by one by one by one. And this agreement reflects the extent to which we were able to find common ground as to how both of our countries can assist one another in moving to the next level. Whether it is in the area of agriculture, where you have so graciously agreed that Barbadians should have the opportunity to come and work here in Suriname to have access to land, to be able to help in the mission of enhancing our region's food security and to be able to help in the very simple goal of the reduction of our food import bill for this region. Whether it is in the area of trade and tourism where we discuss the mutual areas of cooperation, the fact that Barbados is a mature tourism destination and has the capacity to be able to offer to Surinamese opportunities for training in tourism and technical assistance, and in particular in heritage tourism, because your country is a story that the world has to hear. You have a story and a canvas that really ought to be seen by the rest of the world. And it is one of the best kept secrets of this hemisphere. Whether it is in the area of the Ministry of Finance, where both of our countries have been undergoing difficult economic circumstances, and ironically, we have been able to access similar advice with respect to our own plans, even if our roads are slightly divergent, but there is commonality in what we must find for the restructuring and the repositioning of our economies for the benefit of our people. The fact that we need to sign a bilateral investment treaty and a double, um, the double taxation agreement to be able to protect those of our investors, to give them certainty as to what to expect if they invest in Barbados, if they invest in Suriname, and also to give them the assurance of protection in spite of the fact that Suriname operates on civil law and Barbados operates on the common law. With respect to our people, at the level of our young people, we both believe, sir, that this is our future and that it starts and ends with education. And to that extent, the work that we will continue to do, both with respect to language, with respect to curriculum reform, with respect to those within the space of sports. We believe that there are opportunities for student exchanges, for schools to become allied to other schools. We believe that there are opportunities for football training. We believe that there are opportunities for cultural cooperation and training. For after all, Suriname leads the region in the quasi-cabinet of CARICOM on youth and culture. And the wonderful example of your diversity is reflected through the expression of culture in almost everything that you do. Similarly, we have also accepted that we will be able to have cooperation at the level of teachers as well. And in the area of unattached young people, because both of our countries are cognizant that this is an area of concern particularly in a world that reinforces individualism and makes sometimes people feel that they are more than they are, forgetting that our strength as individuals comes in our embracing of the collective, as we so heard just now when we visited the Sarva people and, and the wonderful um, display and welcome that we got. And then, of course, in the area of foreign affairs, the fact that we have found common ground to be able to express ourselves both within the region of CARICOM but <clears throat> also hemispherically and globally because we believe that we are always stronger when working together. So these agreements reflect the substance of those talks. Those who have seen us dancing and singing may feel that that was the extent of the trip, but it wasn't. That was the extent to which we have bonded, but it is not the extent of the trip. The fact that we had the opportunity to go among the people at every stage and on every day tells us the kind of importance that your government, sir, places to people development. It is the same importance that my government places on people. 
because unless we come to work every day to make lives better for our people, unless we come to work every day to try to see how we can allow our people to sleep a little easier each night, then we will not have fulfilled our mission or our mandate. So that I am happy to have found a kindred spirit with respect to how we approach the development of our people. And I'm happy that we are able to do so not just through our words, but through our action. And that that action over the course of the next few months and next few years, I pray that it shall move from strength to strength. We first established our deep relations with Suriname in 1977. We also agreed in 2005 for the establishment of a joint commission that went into abeyance. I think, sir, that both of us have agreed and committed that the technical cooperation and the substantive assistance that must exist now must be managed by the joint commission on a quarterly basis. And if we commit to do so in very tangible ways, we haven't spoken about the fact that we already have the trade relations with you importing cement from Barbados and Barbados importing white product and fuel oil from your state oil company. Those things are a given. What we are trying to do is to deepen it now and broaden it so that the average Surinamese person, the average Barbadian person, through links that we have now committed to try to establish through maritime transport and air transport that we can now transcend and have this felt and experienced by our people on a day-to-day -day basis. We are therefore looking forward to a rich and rewarding relationship that will cause all of us to believe that we are always stronger together. Suriname, in a sense, complements Barbados in the most perfect of ways. And there are those who may look at it and say, Suriname is 148 times Barbados' size, with double its population. What do they have in common? I am here to say that we have first and foremost our commitment to people, our commitment to values, our commitment to cultural diversity. And in the words of that great Trinidadian Caritsonian, we came on the same ship and we have the same mission our commitment to the Caribbean civilization. I want to thank you, sir, for your gracious hospitality. There's a generosity of spirit that comes from your people. And if you know me, you will know that the thing that I value most in life is generosity of spirit. Because people who have wealth can give easily. But when you give of yourself, you are given in a way that will bring richness and rewards to you. And that is what has come across in the last three days in this trip. I hope that I will have the opportunity to be able to share with you in Barbados and for our people to be able to return the hospitality which you have so wonderfully shown. I said that perhaps Alison Hines became a regional icon because of a Surinamese lullaby. Paloma ding ding ding. <laughs> and maybe that shows you the point that I'm making that we're always stronger together. But I would only like to add as I leave and as we leave Suriname tonight that our memories of here will always be one of great fondness and love. And in those words that I've come to learn in the last few days, Lobi Ibrasa Suriname. <laughs> I know we're better.